Baltus states that there are seven characteristics to lifespan development. Let's take a look at them one by one. Development is lifelong. Individuals are studied in lifespan development, and it looks at this development and change over time, beginning at conception, the moment there is the fertilized ovum, and that is in the womb part, of our life, then until we die, which can happen in the womb, it can happen at birth, it can happen in our childhood years, it could happen in our teenage years, adolescent years, it may happen in early adulthood, it may happen middle adulthood, or it may happen at an old age, even after reaching the age of being a centenarian at 100 or more. In the end, however, no one age dominates development, according to Baltus. Development is multidimensional. This refers to development consisting of the biological, cognitive, social emotional, and moral processes, which basically means things dealing with the physical body, the intelligence interaction, emotions, and spirituality. Development is multidirectional. Some components or dimensions increase in growth. Others decrease depending on the age and social context of the individual. Development is plastic or flexible. Plasticity, or flexibility, is the degree to which characteristics change or remain stable. We are able to be shaped, formed, molded, and modeled as well. Development is contextual. Individuals respond to and act upon contexts, including one's biological makeup, physical environment, cognitive processes, and social, historical, and cultural contexts. Within the contextual view, the following three sources influence development. First, the normative age-graded influences, which are biological and environmental influences that are similar for individuals in a particular age group. Second, the normative history-graded influences which are common to people of a particular generation because of the historical circumstances they experience. Third, the non-normative life events, which are usual occurrences that have a major impact on an individual's life. The occurrence, pattern, and sequence of these events are not applicable to many individuals. Development is multidisciplinary. This involves psychologists, sociologists, anthropologists, neuroscientists, medical researchers, and others, all playing a role in the study of human development. Development involves growth, maintenance, and regulation. The mastery of life often involves conflicts and competition among three goals of human development. That is, growth, maintenance, and regulation. These three can be described as the following. Growth is that development from a simpler form to more complex form, maturing, becoming fully developed. Maintenance is a upkeeping. It is dealing with the condition, maintaining it 
making sure that it is supported. And regulation has to do with the state of being controlled, a state of being that is under the force of regulating. In the end, Paul Baltus has had an impact on those who study human development, having great influence, having had a perspective which has endured and will continue to endure with time, and has certainly has given us a understanding deeper in a very succinct way of the lifespan human development.